In this video, we're going to show you how to create and manage dashboards. To create a dashboard, you're going to click the little three dots beside the home icon and click on create dashboard. You can name your dashboard whatever you want, and then you're just going to click save. Now the dashboard will be created. There's no information on it yet because we're going to have to add dashlets. So to add the new dashlet, we click add dashlet, select the dashlet that you want, and then you can configure that dashlet. So the most commonly used dashlet is the list view, and you can base that on any module. You can rename that dashlet, change the columns, change the filter to meet your specific needs. And the filter works exactly the way it does in the list view. Once you have all your configuration for your dashlet done, you can click Save. Now you're ready to resize your dashlet. Every time you add a new dashlet, it makes it go all the way across the screen. You can grab it in the bottom right hand corner of the dashlet and move it to the left or the right or up and down to resize it. Now that you've added your dashlet, you can add more by using the float menu in the bottom right hand corner. Just click on add dashlet. This gives you the same list that we've seen already. Make your selection, configure it, click save and then you can resize that dashlet. To move your dashlet, click and hold on the header of the dashlet and then move it to a new location. I would recommend you check out documentation for your version and addition of Sugar for the available dashlets that you can add. share your dashboard with another team, you can go to the home icon again and then select manage dashboards in the menu. Select the dashboard you want to share, add the team that you want to share it with, and then click save. When someone logs in that's on the West team, they can now view this dashboard by going to their manage dashboards option in the home menu and then clicking the star by that dashlet and now they can view it based on the roles that they're in. A dashboard can be pushed to its associated teams by updating the default dashboard checkbox when editing the record. Only admin users can edit this default dashboard field. 